Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, uh, my channel's primarily about me and fitting out my 2016 Ford Ranger Wildtrak 3.2 litre diesel for overlanding, um, making it a long distance touring rig for a family of four. So what I would like to talk to you about in this video is DC-DC charges and why I ended up going with the one that is right next to me. So currently I run a 100 amp hour battery which I made a DIY battery box um, which sits right behind my fridge on the fridge slide. That battery I charge with my NOCO Genius 5 when I have access to mains power. Um, but when we're out and about, I've got a 100 watt solar panel with a PWM charge controller to charge it. Uh, yeah, needless to say that it was one of those free PWM charge controllers. It's not the most efficient system. Um, when it's a proper nice sunny day, it charges the battery very well. But unfortunately, uh, when the clouds roll in, it's not that good. So that brought me up to why I needed to go for something else. On our last trip, we actually ran out of uh, battery power purely because it was pants weather for most of the time. And uh, yeah, the sun just wasn't there. So if I had access to a DC-DC charger, I would have been able to maintain the battery um, voltages and run the fridge the whole time. So. It pushed me down the line to go and look at what's available on the market uh, clearly when you type in DC DC charger you get the big names you get uh, C-Tech, Victron, uh, Red Arc and then a few other random ones thrown in there as well um, I really liked the Red Arc unfortunately it was out of my price range the BCD 1225 I think it's called is nearly 400 pounds um, it's just way too expensive for, for what it is. Um, the CTEC system I really liked, and I like the fact that you can expand it with the smart pass system. But um, again, it was quite expensive. Um, the ones that I was looking at, they were ranging between well, 240 to 250, depending on where you're gonna buy it from. Um, Victron systems, uh, again, really good systems. Uh, I like the the, the tiered system you can have um, through it and the, all the options. There's just so many options in the Victron system. It clearly is a, it's a leader in, in the field of solar um, charging and also the DC-DC chargers. What I didn't like about the Victron system is that you had to have two different controllers. One for your DC-DC charging and one for your MPPT charging. Uh, so I didn't go that and also the two systems combined just push the price up. It's um, 150 for the DC DC charger the one that I was looking at and About same again, if not a little bit more for the MPPT solar charge controller um, Then while I was looking around I ended up look finding Renergy and there's quite a few videos on the Renergy systems out on the the internet and I am um, everybody seemed to be doing quite well with them obviously there's um, both sides of the coin um, uh, and I opted for spending my monies on this one so what is this well this is the Renergy 30 amp DC DC charger with MPPT charge controller there's a 50 amp version as well but um, because my power needs isn't that great um, I opted for the 30 amp version. Um, the difference between the two is purely obviously the amps that it charges. But this one, if you are running the solar panel and your alternator at the same time, you only get 15 amps from the alternator, where the 50 amp version you will get 25 amps from the alternator. If you want to pull the full 30 or 50 amps, you'll have to disconnect your solar panel if it's a permanently fitted system um, and then the system will pull full power so 30 amp and 50 amp respectively um, for me it's not that much of a problem because my solar panel is a um, one of those folding ones so not a problem at all it's not always on 
Um, the nice thing about these as well is they prioritize solar. So if the sun is shining brightly, um, it'll charge, but it'll also trickle charge your um, your starter battery. So that's a that's a good feature to have if you're stationary for long periods in a nice sunny place like Morocco. So what's included in the box? Um, clearly, you have the the charge controller itself. It comes with these uh, little covers that covers the the terminals. You have a massive communication cable. Uh, I don't know how long that is, but it it, it looks quite like it can be quite long. You have your ignition wire for your uh, Euro 6 um, alternators, your small smart alternators. And also you have this bad boy, which is a temperature sensor. Allows you to put that above your battery to see that you're not overcharging your battery and it's getting too hot. But also it's got low power cutoff, uh, sorry, low temperature cutoff as well. And then lastly, but not least, it comes with uh, battery terminals, which is the right size for the terminals on here. And it looks like it might be 16 millimeters cable on there. I don't know what, what the, whatever that is in American gauge. What I also opted for is this little bad boy here, which is a Bluetooth module. What that does, it allows you more control over your charging rates um, and you, you can set how you want to charge your battery manually. If you have the, the spec sheet from your manufacturer, you can set it all as laid out there. The system will deal with all battery types. So your, your AGM sealed gel, lead acid and lithium ion. So very good all on there. And it's all controlled with a little button on there which changes the color of the LED relative to your relevant battery type. And it, all the colors are laid up in this chart on the, on the side here. It also it gives you the, the charging voltages of all the different types of batteries. So all in all, it looks like quite a quality little system. So what's next for me? Well, I need to pull out some of the things out of the back to give me space to work. I need to go and buy the cabling um, to get it all installed. Uh, I have to run a positive and a negative from the, the starter battery to the system all the way from the front to the back. So need to get some cables um, and I, then I need to get it installed. Because my house battery is on a moving tray on the fridge slide, um, I'll probably get the output running straight to my house battery instead of having this so i need to find a suitable place to get this mounted so if you manage to hang a, hang along all the way to the end thank you very much so look forward to your or your my next video on this being installed i hope you have a good one and see you in the next video bye